السلام عليكم I am Anwar Lashir and this is my channel Become Engineer Academy So hello everyone In the last video we have seen how the Flutter demo app works and we started getting familiar with widgets and how we can use them to build UIs in this video I will show you the first page that we will build now we will start from scratch and as I did in the last video you need to delete all the code so we will begin our code with import simple codes material material and you have here this suggestion just double click it and put semicolon in the last of the line here we have import the pack a package which is in the flutter folder which is material dot dot now we will define the entry point of our app every programmer knows that the entry to to his app is the main method so the main method will return nothing we can use void and you cannot use it if you want but the good practice is to use it after that we need to run our app so to to tell flutter that we want to run our app so i will invoke the run app method that takes one parameter so run app as you see we have always suggested uh, the parameter here is the app I will name it for example my app you can name it as you see here we have an, er an error because we didn't create ye yet we haven't created yet the my app class here we can create it manually class my class uh, sorry my app extends from but there is another quick and easy way this way is state list just create a state list and click enter now it's left just to type the name of the app now uh, this is the the basic the basics of a program so here if I run this program we will have a black screen which is natural because we don't put anything in the belt method the belt method just returns a container that have no text no color no anything and as you see here say this is a stateless method or uh, sorry a stateless class which is uh, wi which will not uh, change anything in the app uh, I will just wait the app to be shown on the phone so as I said what I have here is a minimum flutter app and if I hot reload the app as I do we will it will show a black app here I always waiting for the app to be installed on the phone and will be shown as soon as possible so as you see here 
here override uh, means that telling the compiler we are overriding a method in the superclass which is here the stateless widget because my app inherits from this uh, class stateless widget widget which makes stateless stateless sorry widget the superclass of my app I will stop the video here and see you on the next video to make some interesting things in our code. See you guys and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.